வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் வீடியோ ஆன் பயோமெடிக்கல் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட்ஸ் வி வர் டிஸ்கசிங் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஆர் ரெசிஸ்டிவ் சென்சர்ஸ் இன் பயோமெடிக்கல் சிஸ்டம்ஸ் இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் கிளாஸ் வி டிஸ்கஸ் ஸ்ட்ரெயின் கேஜஸ் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் வேரியஸ் அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் த டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்ட்ரெயின் கேஜஸ் அண்ட் விச் ஒன் டு சூஸ் டிபெண்டிங் ஆன் வெதர் யூ ஆர் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டட் இன் temperature sensitivity or whether you are interested in high gain or high sensitivity for example and depending on the application the cost will vary depending on the type of sensor you use the cost will vary so for each one of them we give different examples for example uh, silicon strain gauges are frequently used in catheter tip pressure sensors for example please do revise these topics for your understanding now we'll continue our discussion of resistive sensors with the example of thermistors thermistor is essentially a semiconductor device that is made of a ceramic material that has a special property that special property is that they have high highly negative temperature coefficient that is also that is exponential in nature the resistance of the thermistor increases when the temperature decreases that is quite unusual when compared with for example a metal take a metal for example what will happen to resistance when the temperature changes when the temperature increases the resistance will increase when the temperature decreases the resistance will decrease this is what will happen in a metal by the way why will this be the case why is this happening what is the principle that makes a metal resistance to increase when the temperature increases what is the principle what is the physics behind this do check because that is beyond the scope of this class do check why is that the case in metals thermistors are special in that that they have negative temperature coefficient also that is exponential in this case that is if the temperature decreases the resistance increases so is the relationship between thermistor resistance rt and the absolute temperature t where the material constant for the thermistor is some beta by the way this will vary this will vary depending on the material and the reference temperature that we use is some t not now the temperature coefficient can be found by differentiating this equation in the previous slide with respect to t and then dividing the whole equation by the by the thermistor resistance when you do that you get this equation now various types of thermistors are available such as they come as beads chips rods various geometries what is the most commonly used thermistor what is the most important application is it's a it's used for quite frequently in glass encapsulated bead to measure temperature they are also quite often they are also used in measurement of oral temperature of course 
another there are other temperature measurement systems one exercise that you can do i recommend but it is not required to understand this uh, principle is buy an inexpensive digital thermometer say from a from a pharmacy 100 rupees 200 rupees 150 rupees digital thermometer open it up break it break it means uh, break it in such a way that you can still understand its functioning and see what is inside it will be interesting for it will be an interesting exercise for you likely but not always what is likely there in the digital oral thermometer is a thermistor what are some advantages they are usually highly sensitive to relatively small changes in temperature and usually we are interested in measuring within a small range of temperature they are relatively small and are quite fast in responding and in a thermocouple you usually have a need to have a compensation circuit because you are using a you are using a reference sensor you are using a reference temperature so there is a need to use a compensation circuit in a thermocouple that's not needed in a thermistor and because they are really small they can be embedded inside a catheters and they are relatively inexpensive and quite useful for measuring temperature within a small range which is what we do usually for example in all these fever temperature measurement systems measurement uh, thermometers measure temperature within a relatively small range because it is highly unlikely for the human body temperature to go below for example 30 degree celsius and for example to go above 40 45 degree celsius no. so you are you, you are really working with a relatively small measurement range for that range it turns out that thermistors are an ideal measurement system which is why most of the inexp inexpensive thermometers digital thermometers are made of thermistors most of them but try to check what is the what is the control circuit you know? how does that uh, temperature get converted into digital form and have a display for example it will be a worthwhile exercise for you to do if you are interested you can do it it's optional what are the disadvantages well the disadvantage well your advantage is your disadvantage you note that in a previous equation we said that there is an exponential change between temperature and the thermistor resistance that means that they have a non-linear resistance temperature curve whereas if you are using an rtd resistance temperature detector for example they usually have a linear curve well so the if you are interested in measuring temperature over a relatively larger range then it is unlikely that the thermistor will be the ideal choice for you and it is somewhat difficult to match different thermistors for, for multi channel systems so you need to keep recalibrating whenever you replace probes because uh, of this so it is not possible for you to achieve it is quite challenging to achieve linear output in thermistors because by definition they are not linear we already said that they are exponential and exponential curves have exponential curves are not linear by definition so so which is why you can if they work well only within a relatively small range so another uh, approach to achieve linearity or nearly linear output is to use parallel linear linearization by using a parallel resistor shunting it with the shunt resistor this value of rp is then adjusted to set what is the point at which you will have the mid midpoint or the mid range temperature another approach is to have a thermistor in series with another resistor this is another way in which you could 
increase the total resistance and thus change the deviation but remember all these things come with a cost too because uh, if for example when you do this you are also likely compromising the under sensitivity so so you need to make a choice on what is important for you in your measurement system if if uh, a large range is required you are looking at a looking at a particular application if a relatively small range is required maybe a regular thermistor will do the job for you so yeah. so it's a it's a choice that you are making another device are, is the rtd these are resistive sensors that are usually made of metal whose resistance relatively linearly changes with change or increase in temperature so if there is a and this is relatively linear so in this case the measured temperature is rt and uh, the reference temperature is some r naught and there is a temperature coefficient alpha okay, so that is a delta t t minus t naught that is a temperature coefficient and these are used to measure body temperature over a period of time suppose for example in a icu or in a person who is bedridden for a while you want to continuously monitor for example quite useful for monitoring over a relatively long term what is long term in this case in this in this case long term is several hours to several days this long term because one one shot application you are just having fever you want to check the temperature is it above 100 then you need to know that there is fever if it is less than 100 maybe you are not really having fever these are one shot applications for those a regular thermistor uh, thermometer will work but if you need to monitor temperature changes then maybe rtd is a good choice so with this we'll end our discussion on uh, thermistors and uh, rtds and our discussion on uh, resistive sensors Thank you very much for your attention.